So on UK5, he did back out of Kaza, but if you look, he moved a bunch back into here as I retreated out of West Russia. So between the Russians and them, they're going to restack Kaza, unfortunately, it looks like. Um, hopefully he can't stack West Russia and Kaza. That would be very bad. But, uh, yeah. On the positive side, we're going to get some pretty good income, hopefully, this time with uh, Japan and keep, keep building from there. And we're still getting decent income with uh, Russia for a little bit here. Uh, the other negative side is it appears he, he feels he can stack Finland. Um, I did a quick check. It, you know, if he brings in, he's got infantry and AA he can bring in here. Um, I'm going to make things tough on him, though. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to make it things tough. So, he, But he can bring an infantry and AA into this stack, plus these two infantry. And then he's got two fighters three fighters that he can add to the stack and potentially two Russian fighters if he really wants to add into the stack. Uh, can are these guys one, two, three? No, they, that, that guy can't make it. Now, I'm because of turn order, I think I'm going to play and I'm going to put all my Japan air up here in Karelia this turn. So he built another transport. UK doesn't get to go again, so Presumably, that means he's bringing U.S. to defend against the five guys here. So he needs to bring enough U.S. to defend against these five guys. Maybe the three destroyers in a battleship would be a little bit thin, but um, that's probably probably enough. I'm not really calculating if he wants. Um, I, I guess you know, he does have these guys. I, I forgot about these guys down here. So that, that makes up a difference too. So it may not be enough, but I'm hoping that, you know, seven hitting planes up here plus the threat of four could maybe uh, mess up some logistics up here. We'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm not thinking this game too far ahead. I really should because if I lose this game, I'm going to end up in a three-way tie in the league. If I win, I get first place in the league. So... And the top two are the ones that advance, and I really want to make sure I advance, and I don't know what the tiebreaker system is going to be. Um, I got kind of lazy. I don't want to say lazy. I did not do well in the second half of the season. A um, couple games too many going on for me that I lost. Uh, kind of like this, where I don't want to use a calculate, uh, calculate everything out just because of time's sake. So in any case, uh, we're going to buy... 10 infantry, artillery, a couple tanks. I do want to just start getting people up this way to put pressure up this way as much as, you know, as quickly as possible. Uh, I may need to start building more artillery, actually. But right now, I, I do kind of like tanks to a degree. So we're just impulse buying. So he's letting me blitz, and we can certainly hit this guy pretty strong nope 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 that's not what I wanted we're not going there Let, let's see what else can we hit just out of curiosity anything worth hitting not really And we're just gonna s we're gonna go minus one just in case I want to stick one back into Kaza after all. We'll just stack clear him. Then he's gonna have seven versus my eight nine units. I feel okay with that. Oh, don't want to forget this guy. Finish up cleaning up down here. I could use the cruiser, I suppose, if I really wanted to. 
I think we're just going to pull them on back because he does have two boats and a handful of airs that can come into play. So yeah, so maybe we get five bonus. That's that's the hope. We should get, we will get two, three, four. I thought I had one more. What am I missing? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I thought I was going to get five and then five possible. Oh, did I count this one? One, two, three, uh, yeah, four. Hopefully five there. I could, do I want to use a cruiser? I don't think I really want to use a cruiser, but... And I can use the cruiser for air protection if we decide to go up there, I guess. All right. This would be a, a, a nice little positive thing there, I would say that. Yay, cruiser. Ooh, got the two hits. I was a little worried there. All right, nice. Nice bonus. Double bonus? Do we get a double bonus? Got the hit. No, no double bonus. Yeah, I think I want to go ahead and do that. Make Rusher work for it if he doesn't just throw a stack here. I expect him to throw a stack, but... All right, right now, my gut is I want to do this. I want to make things hard on him, fleet maneuverability, especially since I'll know they'll be able to come through here next turn because I'll stack France again. This was important so that he couldn't just, I mean, I guess he could. No, I don't even think he could move everything in his tanks there to stack that. Because we'll have 8, 9, 16 units that could hit there. And he could have 8. So, yeah, I think we're okay there. Bring these guys around. Now we got five transports threatening India again. So hopefully that makes him think. Plus two bombers. I know I put the fighters out of way for putting the pressure there, unfortunately. But I just I kind of think this is going to be good. 
um, make him have to maneuver. But nonetheless, that's 12 plus two battleships he's got to worry about. So he needs to defend that so he can't move all of this into that stack. Move everybody. I think I moved everybody. I think that's everybody. All right. All right, so there we go. Getting some pretty good income by getting that, that four-pointer there. We've got our Hawaii Islands. The only thing, you know, I, I normally like to get to J5 with the two IPC, or two factories, and a uh, all of my islands taken care of, and uh, a fifth or sixth transport. So I'm one turn short from Madagascar, but I did build the factory a turn early so i'm okay with that and uh hopefully the time the timing should work out decently where we can make allies work for finishing off africa at least of course i guess that is the the negative of putting my fighters way up here i can't put them down here so i guess technically he could move his fighters like down here like transport the two infantry and then fighters but that would be i don't know kind of silly so i think we're we're okay there so uh you know i'm on japan turn but here's what the war report's looking like we got 10 ahead of course he's got his 43 ipc still to spend you know what that's average out to what 14 attack power minus he's probably gonna have to buy another couple transports still right has he got his transport load up He's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight transports. Uh, maybe he's happy with eight transports. I'd, I'd only like to get to the 10, but we'll see how he plays his allies.